This somewhat unusual ambulance only shows up after the patient has died. Its mission? To quickly retrieve a deceased person to preserve their body. The most important element is this operating table, equipped with walls, so that we can cool the body with ice-cold water and a cryopreservation agent. This German startup specializes in human cryopreservation. It offers its clients the option to transfer their bodies to Switzerland, where they can be preserved at minus 196 degrees Celsius until medicine finds a way to cure and resurrect them. A hypothesis that belongs, for now, to the realm of science fiction. But Emil Kenzura is banking on progress. There was a time when flying to the United States wasn't possible. No one could even imagine that it would be one day. What's impossible today could be possible tomorrow. The startup is unique in Europe. It already has a thousand members. They pay 25 euros per month and must bequeath 200,000 euros upon their death to finance the cryopreservation of their bodies. Jonas Nagel constantly carries this card, which indicates what to do in case of death. I do it above all to fund research, and even though I'm obviously not certain that I will be able to come back to life one day, there is still a chance, whereas if I'm buried or cremated, I won't have any chance at all. But assuming this technology works one day, it raises numerous questions, according to this theologian, a member of the German Ethical Council. In 200 years, society will have evolved. The world will have changed, just like politics, culture. All my social relations will have completely disappeared. I would then resume my life under completely different conditions, while still having the memories of my previous life. It would be a catastrophe and it would be unfeasible. To date, about 10 people have already been cryopreserved in Europe, with the hypothetical hope of a return to the world of the living.